हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ओफा स्टडीज यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टू इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक प्लेलिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू स्टार्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक फ्री अकाउंट ओके इफ यू हैव वंट वॉच माय फर्स्ट वीडियो इन द फैब्रिक प्ले लिस्ट वेयर आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट वाट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक एट ए हाई लेवल सो आई वुड स्ट्रांगली एनकरेज यू टू वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो सो दैट यू विल गेट मोस्ट आउट ऑफ इट एक्चुअली uh because understanding what is fabric is very important right before you start the free trial and try to explore it so there are couple of steps uh when you want to work with a microsoft fabric so step 1 is uh of course we have to start the free trial so for that one uh we need to have a outlook account first and then with that outlook account we have to join this microsoft 365 developer program so once we get that then we can easily start a free trial in the microsoft fabric now you may be wondering why is that so why need why i we need to do all that steps the reason is uh, basically this microsoft fabric is integrated with power bi tool or power bi product what you guys generally see okay and uh, if you know power bi already to create any power bi subscription you need to use some organizational account okay so you cannot use your personal account for example if you have outlook.com or if you have gmail.com you cannot use that accounts directly to create a power bi subscription right so we need to have a power bi subscription then only we can actually start the free trial of the fabric account so to have the power bi subscription indirectly we need to have a organizational account okay so if you have a outlook account or a gmail account you cannot activate power bi with that so that automatically tells that uh, you cannot uh, activate the fabric as well okay so now uh, the people who are learning they definitely don't have any organizational accounts right so they have personal accounts only so for them if we, if they have watched my power bi playlist from the youtube i shown how to create one uh, organizational account with a different domain uh, in the power bi playlist so if people are interested they can watch that video or i will show one way also in this video where we will try to enroll ourselves into microsoft 365 developer program so there is something called microsoft 365 developer program if you enroll for it then automatically you will get a free trial of a organizational account so imagine that using the microsoft 365 developer program once you join there now you are getting a a complete your own organization account uh, you can even create a users inside of it and give the licenses to them and all uh, but let's not go details of microsoft 365 developer program so think that it's a program by microsoft via which anybody can join to the microsoft 365 account the moment they joins that means they are treating themselves as an organization the moment you treat yourself as an organization that means you have a organizational account with that account we will try to go to the power bi website and from there we will try to activate the fabric okay so because of for that reason only we are going to enroll into the microsoft 365 developer program in this video thereby we will get one admin id with a domain it is a new domain altogether so indirectly think like it's an organization and with that we are going to activate the fabric free trial okay so as i shown here the step 1 will be first you should have a outlook account so if you have well and good or else you can create one using this signup.live.com url so let's try to uh, do that first step and then let's continue the other steps so what i am going to do now so let me go to the browser and in the browser i am going to open the same url that https slash slash sign up dot sign sign up dot live dot com okay so let's open this url uh, via this url anybody can create their own outlook account okay so I, okay so let's try to create this uh, outlook account now so let's try to use like sample fabric at the rate outlook dot com so this is the account i wanted to create let me click next and let's use a password here so i am using a or i am creating a password for that account let's click next so first name and last name 
so let's try to give first name and last name details next so let's select the date of birth maybe some random date of birth i am selecting it okay let me click next uh, we, we have seen the password too many times so okay so i think the password which i entered is incorrect so let me try a different one maybe uh, maybe okay let's try something new let me see if this will be taken care so let me click next and next okay i think now my account is getting created my account name is sample fabric so we need to solve this puzzle or uh, to continue for this creation let me quickly solve that okay i have solved the puzzle so now the account creation is in progress so with this step we are creating the uh, a microsoft outlook account let me click continue so i think account is getting created so let me click s yes to be signed in with that account that's fine so now we are creating a microsoft account right so once we have the microsoft account what we have to do this is a personal account this is not an organizational account right so what we have to do we have to enroll it to the uh, m365 developer program so that right uh, with that program we will get a domain of organization some random organization uh, with that we can uh, log into the power bi website and start the fabric okay so this is fine so now if i go back to my presentation so what is the next step as you can see here we have to join to the microsoft 365 developer program for that we have to navigate to the this url so let's navigate to this url or let me see if i can copy this url or let me let me type that okay so i, I can type that url so let's go to the browser and in the browser so let me type https colon colon aka dot ms slash get m365 developer i think that is the program name right so let me quickly see m365 developer okay so let's go back here let me hit enter so this url takes us into the m365 developer program so let me hit join now the outlook id with which i just now created i have to join this program so let me join that sample fabric at the right outlook dot com click next so with this id i am joining this microsoft m365 developer program okay so here we have to fill some details like country and other details so fill accordingly so in my case it's india and company name may be sample fabric that's the company name i wanted to give and uh, i am accepting the terms and conditions let me click next and uh, it is for the personal projects so let me click next and here we have to make sure to select this power platform you can select couple of others as well let me click save button to save this by filling this form we are joining to the m365 program and now if you can see here we have we can use either instant sandbox option or we can configure the sandbox when we configure the sandbox we can use our own domain name because we are creating something called organization now right in the microsoft 365 so let's say my organization is abcd then i can create a domain called abcd so that every email id will have at the rate abcd.com right so but for us that's fine we can go with the instant sandbox that will automatically give some our uh, domain or tenant to us so let me click next and here a uh, country or region i can select so asia pacific okay and uh, i can give a admin username for this so i will use same sample fabric that's a admin user id so here also i have to create a password so let me create a password here and i think this password should be 15 or 20 characters so it should be between 15 to 20 characters so let me type a new password here so i use the big password so let me type same okay now okay i can create an alternate password as well so i can use let me type this password even this alternate password also i think we have to use bigger one only okay so let me type this this is something like a admin id for my entire organization okay okay so let me click continue 
and here I can use my mobile number uh, that will validate it. So let me type my mobile number and hit the send code. So this will send a code to me and I have to enter the code here. Uh, this is part of verification because we, are, uh, we have to add the phone number during creation of this organization. So let's wait for the code to receive. I think I have just got a code. So let me type the code which is 39729. Okay. So let me hit setup. So when I click that now we are going to setting up a uh, a new organization via this developer program. Uh, it is completely free. So nothing to be paid here. Uh, so we are no need to worry. I mean we can uh, freely go ahead and do that. Okay. So I think it is done. Okay. So once this is done, let's hit this refresh button on this dashboard. So you can see we are in the dashboard. So once you hit the refresh button, if you closely see, this is the administration ID. Okay. So with this ID, we should go to the Power BI and in the Power BI, since it is not a normal domain, right? If you see here, it is not other at gmail.com or outlook.com. It's not a personal account. So it is kind of like an organization account. So with this ID, we can very easily uh, enable the fabric free trial actually. So what we are, we, we are going to do, uh, we can copy this. Okay. And now as a third step, what we have to do, if you see the presentation, uh, we have to go to this fabric page and start the free trial. So let's navigate to this URL app.fabric.microsoft.com and let's try to see that. So I am going to app.fabric.microsoft.com URL. Let me hit enter. So once we enter, so this is where it is asking us to give the uh, ID with which you, uh, so it is checking whether the ID, whatever I am using, it's a new ID and eligible for creating an account or not. So let me hit submit button. So this will validate whether it's a personal account or the organizational account. So of course, in the domain, I don't have outlook.com or gmail.com. So it's actually organizational accounts. Now in that account, what I can do, I mean, I can, I'm trying to log into that app.microsoft.com URL. So let me enter this admin password, what I created before, right? Okay. So I think I typed correctly. Let me hit sign in. I can hit this ask ladder. I don't want to do setup in anything now. So let's wait for this Power BI homepage or the Fabric homepage to load. So once this loads, now, uh, right now, whatever the screen you are seeing, it is like a Power BI only. The only difference what you observe it here in the menus, you see there is something called one leg hub. So this will be not there before. But from the time Fabric came, you see this icon, okay? And now, if from this Power BI homepage URL, uh, when you click the settings, actually you have to enable this fabric thing across your entire organization or across your entire tenant actually. So for that, you can navigate to this settings. Okay. So here you can see the settings icon, right? So you can navigate to that settings icon and uh, there is something called admin portal. I hope you guys can able to see, right? So from this admin portal, we can enable that fabric thing. Okay. So what I will be doing it. So I will be clicking this uh, admin portal now. So, okay. So in this admin portal, uh, you see there is under tenant settings. You see there is something called tenant setting, right? Under tenant settings, uh, we have to enable the fabric thing here. User can create a fabric items. So go to this setting and you see here, you. Uh, you need to, okay, I think the fabric is already enabled. I, I don't need to do anything. I hope you guys are able to see the settings. Under here, you see the fabric is enabled for the entire organization. So that means I am good to use the fabric in this organization account. So from the admin portal, I no need to do anything. So let me go back now. So now once that is available, when you click this uh, user management uh, account here, when you click this icon here, right? You see, there is something called start the free trial. I hope you guys are able to see this start free trial option, right? By clicking this, you can actually start the free trial of the fabric. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit this start free trial. And if you clearly read this example, or if you create this error, upgrade to the Microsoft fabric for free. So you need to hit this start trial button and this will try to update you. Okay. So it is successfully upgraded to the fabric now. So let's click this fabric homepage. So when I click this, go to fabric homepage, my entire page or web page is going to load. And now we are actually seeing the fabric. 
you see you see the url url still remain same it is app.fabric.microsoft.com now the icon changed you see at the bottom here there is something called microsoft fabric icon right so this icon tells that now fabric is enabled in my system okay so not only that when i click this i see so many different types of workloads here right power bi data factory activator engineering many things so all these workloads are fabric items which comes in the fabric so now uh, if i click data factory for some for example right so when i click that you see that i am able to navigate to that and if you see right now i am inside this my workspace so i am navigating to the my workspace and in the my workspace when i click this here i can create a pipeline i can create a data flow i can create a notebook right i can create many things right so all these things are previously available before fabric in different services of course they are available still today as well but with microsoft fabric all these items put together and create a, a big one single product uh, a saas product software as a uh, service product everything is available now here so it's like a one place to do entire analytics for any organization okay so if you wanted to have a multiple projects that to do the analytics in your organization then we can request them to create their own workspaces so every project will have their own workspace so workspace is nothing but like a it's like a folder okay so now when i go to my folder you can see here i can hit new i can hit this data pipeline that means i am trying to create the first fabric item so when you try first time try that it will ask you to upgrade it here so click that upgrade button so and then click the okay so why that upgrade is needed is from the back end we have to get some capacity assigned to our fabric account so that's what happened when you did that upgrade so now it is telling me okay you wanted to create a pipeline so give a pipeline name and hit the create button there is going to create my first pipeline in the fabric i am not in the data factory service right i am inside the fabric so inside the fabric i am able to create a pipeline now as i said in the first video right fabric is combination of many services data factory synapse power bi and everything you see here from here i can build my own pipeline i can add activities to the pipelines for example copy data i added it see it got a copy data here and all the settings if you know data factory it is similar to that right there is no change maybe ui little bit different but everything is same similar functionality so you know data factory then you know already data factory part in the fabric you can imagine that way but still in this playlist we are going to discuss every component in detail so i hope you got an idea how to create the free trial subscription for the fabric uh, thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, try to uh, follow all the videos in the playlist so that you can get most out of the videos so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much